Hi, I'm Patrick Logans, the Wine Geek Food Freak. Today, I found some beautiful hand-stuffed uh, Italian sausages from my local Clark's Market. Uh, I'm gonna do it with some mushrooms, onions, a nice red wine, cream sage sauce. I've got my onions, yellow onions, and mushrooms to the point where I want them. I've done a little bit in, uh, uh, put a little olive oil in there. You can always extend the life of butter if you add a little olive oil. I'm gonna take some beautiful hand-stuffed Italian sausages from my local market, Clark's Market, and I want to stick them right in here and just brown those guys up a little bit. I also like to add at this point in time a little salt. A lot of times I add the salt at the end, but today, I, right now with mushrooms and onions, because you're cooking them slow, you want to extract all that liquid out of them. All right, so now I have just seared the outside of the sausage just a little bit here, getting the right color that I want. I'm gonna do it on both sides. You also notice that the onions and the mushrooms are also getting that same look to them. I'm gonna take last night's Barbera, any red wine will do. I'm gonna put it in here, and I'm gonna reduce for a little while. Okay, so now the red wine has reduced enough. Uh, you can see, sticking up, it's really come into the sausage a lot, changed the whole color of the sausage. Now I'm gonna add a little heavy whipping cream, mix that in. So now, the cream sauce is starting to come together. Not quite there, we're gonna finish it off in a second, but, I just want to take all this stuff off the side, very important. That's where the sodium is, that's where the flavor is at. Okay, put that right there. Meanwhile, real quick, I'm going to chop up some of my sage from my guard just to put right into that sauce. Just give it some of that sage flavor. We're going to reserve a little bit for decorations at the end. So cream sauce, the worst thing that can happen is they break. So that's when you've cooked it too long. So one of the things we're watching for here is you'll see all these bubbles. When there starts to be bigger bubbles, and you can see it right here, a small discoloration right here in that little spot right there, it's darker purple, that's gonna start to happen all over. That's where we're gonna nail that cream sauce perfect. Just past this is to break the sauce, and the dish is over. You'll have oil and cream separated on the plate. We wanna have a one congealed sauce together. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna reserve them on this plate real quick while I finish off some pasta. I'm gonna take my pasta, I'm gonna place in the sauce. Give it a toss. I'm gonna chop up the rest of my sage for decoration purposes. All right, now we're just there. I'm gonna show you right here in the camera. Check it out. You can see the discoloration happening all over the place, but it's not yet breaking. That's perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna take the pasta, I'll put it on the plate. Now I'm making this one for a big group of people. I'm gonna put all the pasta down here. Reserving some of that sauce for the top. Place these beautiful sausages right on top. And then, pour that sauce All right, take my decorative sage. Bring it on. And sausage in a red wine. Sage cream sauce. Until next time, remember all you need is good ingredients, some care, and a minute of your time, and you can eat like me, Patrick Legans, the wine geek, food freak.